It's always a good day to have a great day. Hi everybody, I'm Scotty Gange. All month long, we'll be showcasing the very best our state's high school athletes have to offer. And today, we're flipping out. At the Gymnastics State Championships, filled with some of Colorado's most extraordinary and swaggy athletes. And there's the most impressive of them all, Lakewood's Lauren Burt. She not only won the all-around individual state title, but also won the vault state championship, the floor title, as well as the uneven bars top prize. Burt goes home with four medals to her name. It was so much fun. That was one of my main goals, to just have fun and try my best. It's super special. It's something that not a lot of people get to experience, so it was really great to be up there. And the 4A all-around champ, Stanley Lakes, Tessa Grudel. The junior also took home the floor routine medal. She was sticking it all day and used the Stanley Lake stick stick, as they call it, to celebrate as she's number one. It's a lot of fun, and we have great girls on the team that just like to hype you up. I kind of looked at my coaches. I just started bawling, so. I worked a long time, so I'm just happy to be here and I can't be happy enough. Play for the brother next to you, play for the person next to you, because before you know it, it's all over. Playoff football, baby! Two-time defending 2A state champion Eaton taking on the 7-2 Bennett Tigers. How about this for a second play of the game? Walker Martin to Tate Smith. The one-handed catch for the tight end results in a 55-yard tutty. But Bennett, they've got the greatest touchdown scorer in our state. Connor Rayburn, he scored a pair his 28th and 29th of the season. That number leads Colorado. But Eaton too much this time. Martin again, deep ball. Yes, sir. 48 yards to Zach Grable, then he takes himself, 85 yard score. The Reds, they win by 45 points. Hey Eaton, you're moving on. Denver South Volleyball is headed to the state tournament. They upset the number four ranked team in Colorado with a huge thanks to this Georgie Hayes crush as the Ravens shock the state. Hey Denver South, you're moving on. Golden took care of business, a 28-point playoff win, which means we get another chance to see star QB Jazel Riley and running back Luke Chevalier strap it up for the Demons. They've got a huge matchup against Montrose next. Hey, Golden Demons, you're moving on! Football in the snow, this is real life, and that's GW's Marcellus Honeycutt Jr., the game-winning touchdown score for the Patriots as they win their league title, finish the regular season with a 9-1 record in a winter wonderland snowstorm. Severn's quarterback, Jaden Hoffman, had three touchdowns in his regular season finale and maybe the most destructive, the most explosive, totally awesome TD we've seen all season long. You can't get me, you can't get me! Jaden the Giant, I've never seen anyone earn a yard more and Hoffy got 46 of them. That is awesome, Jaden, keep on spinning. Hey, this was shared with us. You can send your highlights to us, sports at 9news.com. That's Mullins, Alex Evans, the game-winning walk-off penalty score. Hey, Mullen Mustangs, you're moving on. Bear Creek and Windsor in the 4A playoffs, baby. The day was all about this guy, Chase Thomas, seriously. Can't slow Chase down. Matt Zanger, a nice ball, too. Thomas Shakes does the rest. Let's bring out some defense, too. You know what? I love a good safety. And Henry Jones, the Windsor Wizard, is going to meet his guy in the hole. Yes! Two-point play for the Wizards. And one more time for Thomas. Again, returns a kick for the score as the Windsor Wizards win by 17. Hey, Wizards! You're moving on! Being out here with all my dudes, I love them so much. And, I mean, it might be my last year, but every day I get with them is even better. So. Snowy football, the very best. Conifer and Evergreen in the annual Mountain Bowl. Here's Evergreen's quarterback, Tommy Paholski, to Kelton Okasek for the score. And then Tommy showed off the legs with the speed down the sideline as the Cougars. They win by 41. Woo! Hey, let's go! I'm not really known as a fast guy, but, you know, the wheels just started moving, you know picked up and uh, it, it was a nice little run. I gotta, I gotta give it to myself, a little proud, I'm proud. I'm proud of you too, Tommy. Hey, pretty cool, and to end the show on a hometown hero. Broncos may have traded for someone with the most mile high experience on the entire team. Jacob Martin is a former Cherokee Trail high school star. And how about a decade ago? That's him on the right, powering past Christian McCaffrey to record a sack in the 2012 
state championship game. Now he's back home as a Bronco. It's great to be back home. It's great to be here in Denver again. You know, I haven't been back in quite some time, um, but I'm, I'm just really excited and happy to be here. Pretty awesome. Hey, I'm Scotty Gange. We'll see you all this week, 9news.com slash HSS, and next weekend, too, on the Prep Rally with all the fun.